In the course of the Rosetta mission to Comet 67P, the electric comet hypothesis will face many scientific tests. And the tests can be continually reviewed as Rosetta reports, now too long delayed, see the light of day. The core concepts of the electric comet involve two levels of evidence. One relating to the look and behavior of a comet as we observe it, the other relating to a comet's origins. We've emphasized the electrical behavior due to a comet's motion through regions of different charge in the plasma domain of the Sun. Comet origins, on the other hand, require a good deal more than observation in our own time. The electric comet requires us to look back in time to an epoch of planetary catastrophe. Avoiding this would only mean losing the opportunity to understand what a comet really is. This includes the connection of comets to our own planet and to the most awe-inspiring and terrifying events in human history. Both levels of evidence are strongly fortified by laboratory experiments, and it's these experiments that help us to unify present observation of comets with the extraordinary ancient descriptions of these bodies. We understand that this subject will bring discomfort to many. The idea of planetary catastrophe in geologically recent times will never fit comfortably with the overarching assumption of theoretical science today. We call that assumption the uniformity principle, the idea that we can understand the past through things we see occurring now, as today so before. In contrast, the electric comet idea forces us to consult the astronomical testimony of our early forebears, where independent accounts, told with different words and different symbols and in different parts of the world, convey a story of planetary catastrophe. Glimpses of that story are told in the documentary Symbols of an Alien Sky, and a second episode, The Lightning-Scarred Planet Mars. Consider the latter documentary and you'll understand why we see the red planet as the first and most logical candidate to investigate on the matter of comets born in planetary catastrophe. The ancient astronomical traditions direct our attention to the red planet as the source of fire and stone hurled by a cosmic warrior god. A thousand different traditions present this warrior figure in ways unique to each culture, but one feature in particular consistently stands out, the identification of this warrior archetype with the planet Mars. We've said this many times, don't believe in coincidence. The subject here is a global human experience whose logical implications can be tested down to innumerable details. In this way, consistent human testimony will give us the answer to the question, how were comets born? The electrical investigation has been underway for decades, and the converging lines of inquiry bring us face to face with the planet Mars. Massive evidence points directly to the excavation of surface material and bedrock from the planet. Comets are recent additions to the solar system. They were born in events remembered around the world. As we intend to show clearly and definitively, the planet Mars was immersed in electric discharge, removing material up to several miles deep and re-sculpting the entire Martian surface with no regional exceptions. Yes, the claim is outrageous. But in the end, everyone concerned with the truth of the matter will be required to look at the full range of facts as evidence. That means across all of the disciplines that hold potential answers. As we continue to review the Rosetta mission, we'll not lose sight of the human story, reminding us why comets were anciently feared around the world as symbols of planetary catastrophe.